Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Prince Trex. Welcome to OTR Gamer TV. Right guys, in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I've got some latest news and update coming straight from Rockstar. It's looking to be one of the biggest DLC of the year. Wow. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm not making this up, Rockstar has confirmed a brand new DLC which is to be called GTA 5 Online Import Slash Export and this DLC is to be released on December this month which we are on now so we can be expecting this DLC anytime soon this month. So anyways, I'll be giving out a lot of information about the DLC and screenshots so let's get into it. In this update we are expecting 25 vehicles in single update and that's a lot of amount of cars. Fuck me, this shit is getting me excited and I'm sure some of you are too. However, Rockstar hasn't gave us what date it will be released but the particular guy which some of you guys know named Yan2295 has said. Oh, by the way, the current planned release date for this is December 13. It has not passed Sony an MS submission yet though so it could change. So we can't be expecting a release date on 13th of December and most of the DLC he has predicted turn out to be true so you never know like he also said it could be a change so basically what i would do right now is basically sit back and let rockstar announce the release of the date do you know what i mean so it's pretty simple so anyways guys what i'm about to show you now is full list of the vehicle which yan2295 has posted on his tweet so let's have a look so basically what you are seeing on this picture right now is basically shows you the make class and the core name of the vehicle which is coming into the new DLC. So this is the rough idea of what we are expecting to be having in the new DLC. Well um, apparently this Yan2295 is saying that these are the vehicles we are going to be expecting in the new DLC. So in those 25 vehicles these are the cars which will include Dune Buggy, Ruiner, Box Vile, Technical and Voltic. Now let me show you a screenshot of what these cars are capable of and what they can do. Approximately 25 vehicles are coming to the next update which will reportedly include a dune buggy with a ramp capable of scooping and throwing cars up into the air, a box vial with armor plating and a turret, a ruiner with a gun and rocket and amphibious, blazer quad with dual machine guns and amphibious, technical with turret and a voltic with a huge rocket engine in the back. Fucking hell man, this got some crazy cars in there man, some heavy weapon duties going on in that car. So you see, this update is fucking getting me excited, but anyway, this is not it. I still got a couple of more information to share with you guys. Rockstar Newswire State Service CEOs know there's always more for the taking, while special cargo business in southern San Andreas is booming. Another opportunity to expand your hold in the city awaits. With GTA 5 Online import slash expo, it's time to muscle into the lucrative and specialized field of high volume exotic car theft. Okay, now this DLC is getting me a bit too fucking excited, so just bear with me, I really can't wait to jump into all content which Rockstar is going to be offering us, and the best part is, it's fucking free, wow, well, um, yeah, it's always been free, so, you know, which is why I love Rockstar. So anyways, import slash export will build up on the supply chain of the further adventure in finance and felony update. It is also going to be adding a new criminal pursuit for CEOs to expand the organization. So basically, what you are capable of doing, import slash export is as simple as stealing a very expensive car, modify it and do whatever and however you want to modify it and sell it back for big profit. Wow. But it won't be that simple because GTA 5 online mission has never been that simple and straightforward. You will need tactics and be talented to get this job done and you will also need a brand new special vehicle for the job to be done as a pro. Now I'm not sure how tough this mission will be but this is the real deal. And it's not just that, you will have to be one step ahead of the police and rival challenges from across city and countryside. Wow, this do sound pretty tough but that ain't stopping me, I just can't wait for this shit. Now here comes the best part, Rockstar also announced and introduced a new vehicle warehouse which I'm about to show you right now. Now check that out, doesn't that look bad boy? As you guys can see in that picture, the car in orange seems like a new car to me which is also coming in the DLC, I'm not sure what it's called. And there's a blue car right at the top, as you guys can see. That is also gonna be a brand new car which is also coming in the DLC. And um, I'm not sure what they're called. 
and I'm not sure what they are, whether they're supercars or normal cars or whatever cars they are. But the car in orange looks more like a supercar to me and the car in blue looks more of a sport car. I might be wrong, well this is my opinion. Let me know what's your opinion about this as well, just drop a comment on the comment box below and let me know what you guys think. Well, we can see multiple cars here, some are old and some are new and I think all the vehicles you still will be stored here. If you look closer to the blue vehicle, I think we are getting to be having some new rims. Some very cool stuff is going on here, don't you guys think? I mean, I would love to try those new rims out there, they look pretty nice. Damn, they look hot. So yeah, there's a lot of information about this and I've got one more screenshot to show you guys and I've already spoke about this but I'm gonna you know bring it back up again but this time I'm gonna show you a screenshot Rockstar also announced the import expo will introduce a new vehicle warehouse which will house all the vehicles you still in the new GTA 5 update the executive office garage boasts three floors of showroom quality storage for as many as 60 vehicles fucking armor there's a lot of vehicles you can fit into the warehouse the update will also introduce a customizable decor and a custom auto shop for your new garage fucking hell man we're getting a lot of shit right there so basically we're gonna have three floor or showrooms so plenty of showroom for you guys you can't complain and also you can store 60 vehicles now just imagine how big this thing is mad shit i'm telling you and also new custom auto shop to customize your vehicle now how's that i mean fucking hell man they're going in so anyways guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace.